In a tense runoff campaign, Macron and Le Pen spar about the expense of living. Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen sparred at a distance on Monday over who would best safeguard French consumers' money, setting up a tense runoff on April 24. Macron, a pro European moderate who won comfortably in 2017 by keeping the far right out of power, has a considerably stiffer struggle this time. Le Pen, who tapped into resentment over rising costs of living and a view that Macron is detached from ordinary struggles before of Sunday's first round, pushed those concerns on Monday. A visit to a rural hamlet southeast of Paris saw Le Pen criticizing Macron's statements on her policy proposals and encouraging him to study her manifesto. She claimed Macron had failed to defend the French from inflation's black clouds, and that if elected, she would halve the VAT on energy and make it zero for 100 basic food and hygiene goods so the French can keep driving and eating. Macron slammed his competitor in an interview with La Voix du Nord on Monday Demagogue, Mrs. Le Pen. She says what people want to hear when they want to hear it. Macron claimed Le Pen's economic promises were an illusion. On a walk about in Dinan, one of the country's poorest towns in the old industrial heartland, he cautioned voters that Le Pen would not be able to afford her populist economic plan and was misleading them. Locals criticized Macron for everything from his intentions to raise the retirement age to his statement during the Omicron phase of the COVID-19 epidemic that he intended to piss off anti-vaxxers. I said it kindly, he informed a puzzled local about his piss-off remark. It's all a lie. And he's afraid of losing to Marine Le Pen Stephanie Berta, 36, an unemployed Le Pen backer, said Reuters outside Dinane's town hall. Ampas. The hard-left candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon placed second in Dinane, but Macron told voters throughout France he had understood their complaints and intended to produce riches so more could be dispersed. He stated he was willing to modify and develop his platform to better preserve the environment. To address his controversial plan to raise the legal retirement age to 65, Macron told BFM TV. But he said that individuals must work longer to keep the pension system viable. A Le Pen victory would send shockwaves throughout Europe and beyond, akin to the Brexit vote or Trump's election in 2017. Le Pen's proposal will cause France to fall behind its neighbours and create a very substantial and unfunded rise in public spending expenditure, which risks throwing the nation in an impasse, according to the French Employers Association Medef. On Sunday, Macron received 27.84% of the vote, while Le Pen received 23.15% and Mélenchon received 21.95%.